Ladies and gentlemen, this is your host Harish Bali from Technofair.com. Wouldn't it be nice if we configure all the emails that we operate on Google, Yahoo, Hotmail onto one single mail, which is Apple Mail? Yes, I am sure you will enjoy doing that. Let's learn how to do that and many more other important things. So I am going to share 15 things that you can do with Apple Mail you may or may not be aware of. So let's check it out. Once you open your mail, go to mail from the top, add account, choose a mail provider, sign in and sync starts happening automatically. This way you can configure your Hotmail, Gmail, Yahoo Mail etc. But how about your name at your domain.com? Like in my case, my name is Harish Bali and my domain is technofed.com. So I will need to create Harish at technofed.com or Harish Bali at technofed.com by entering the details. But I will need to enter the server credentials out over here from the cPanel. So let's have a look at how cPanel looks. Most of the cPanels appear in the same fashion. So mine is GoDaddy. I'll need to go to emails. First, I will need to create my account there and then scroll down. In GoDaddy, I've got this option under more configure email client. Enter. Scroll down and these are the manual settings incoming and outgoing mail server. I will need to copy both incoming server as well as the outgoing server configuration and then go back to the mail. Mail from the top preferences. Now, since this has already been done, I need to click on Technofair server settings and paste the host name incoming server and host name for outgoing server. This automatically gets saved and mail will start flowing in automatically. Incoming and outgoing server details are different for different hosting service providers. So in your case, you may need to speak to your host to find out the details. If you are using an IMAP mail client like Yahoo, Google or Outlook, then if you delete a mail from Apple Mail, it also gets deleted from the respective mail client inbox and vice versa. Have a party at home? Most of us would typically type in the names in some order and send them an email invite. Of course, nothing wrong in it. I have been doing it that way since years. But now the way I do it is compose a mail, type my name in two. And in the BCC section, I type the group name, which is let's say family members and then simply send them an mail. Now to make it more creative, there is this option here. If you can see show or hide stationary pane, click on it. And there are set templates, favorite birthdays. For example, I want to invite them over lunch. So I'll click on announcements, then lunch. So I've got this template out over here, which is editable. So I can click on any of the text and start writing it. This way I can send them an invite. Now the way to do it is open contacts. Go to file from the menu, create a new group. Let's name this friends. Go to all contacts, individually copy and drag the friends. I wish to put under friends one by one. If you wish to do this little faster, maybe you can hold on to the command key from keyboard and then choose the contacts you wish to copy. I am randomly selecting few contacts and drag them to friends. Just in case, if you want to be double sure on the group members before sending them a mail, you can any day click on this drop down and expand the group to see the members list. How about an auto signature on a composed mail section? Good. Go to mail from the top, preferences, signature tab. Let's say for hotmail, I want to type my own name as a signature. So I'll click on plus signature one is a default name. So I can write in thanks Harish Bali as my signature. If I want, I can add whatever I want to my website URL or my phone number and then leave it as it is. Keep this little box as unchecked place signature above quoted text. Now when I will go to compose new message, it will show up my signature down below automatically. Now if I need a different signature for my other mail accounts, I simply need to go back to mail preferences, click on the respective mail account, this plus sign 
and add the mail details here the one that you need in signature if i wish to make my life easier and have the same signature for all my accounts let's say the hotmail one for all the accounts i simply need to drag the signature to the respective mail ids and my signature gets copied after doing this now when i will compose a new message for any of my mail accounts my signature will pop up automatically based is the action on a mail i can label them with different colors for example if i want to label a particular mail i do a right click and then move it to that particular uh, mail for example yellow for me is moderately important so having done that i will now go to the left hand side and there is a flag folder expand it and yellow folder has got that mail that i flagged it as yellow now for yellow is moderately important i can do a right click and then rename the mailbox as moderately important or whatever moderately important similarly i can rename the red as super important this can help me manage mails basis urgency or importance next one is natural language search this one is quite easy but you will like it for example if i need to search for emails with attachment i simply need to type in in the search box emails with attachment and all the mails that have attachment appear here similarly i can write emails from yesterday and search all the mails that have hit my inbox yesterday will show up markup attachments is one of my favorite tools if you are adding a image or pdf to a mail from this little drop down on the right go to markup you can write in some text here this is a bhangar fort i can increase the size place it anywhere on the image scribble anything move it around and once done send it it helps to assemble a particular type of email under a tab for that go to mailbox from the top and then new smart mailbox it makes lot of good sense for me to get all my today's mail under a tab so i will choose date received and this is today this is in case if you want to include mails from the trash which of course i will not check and then okay this is my smart mailbox for today it has got all the mails that have reached me today there are other things that you can explore under smart mailbox for example uh, i can label this as important or whatever and there are options like you can message as per the flag so any mail that's super important and then put further conditions super mail super important mails coming from a particular recipient or contains a particular subject and then press okay and create new smart mail boxes up till now the way i have been sending mails to people with the attachments is i would go to my video copy by doing a right click copy link address this one is about time machine go to mail and then write the text hey watch my new video and write something else as well and do a command and v this doesn't look too good in fact looks ugly and clunky the right way to do this is not the right in fact better way to do this is do a command and x highlight the portion where you want to embed it go to edit from the top then add link and paste this okay now if anyone clicks on new video that person will be taken to the youtube page and this guy can see the video short way to do this is select the portion where you want to embed the link do a command and k from the keyboard and paste the url normally when we copy some content from web page and paste it onto the mail it doesn't marry with the source format that's already on the email for example i am writing hey check out these specs and i am on this page i copy the specs of this laptop command c go back to the compose mail section and paste it by doing a command v it doesn't match with the source formatting that was already there so this certainly is not looking that good now a better way to do this is go keep the cursor on the point where you want to paste it go to edit and then select this option paste and match style moment you do that it takes up the same source formatting apple mail includes a quote level feature 
So if I want to send this code to people, a better way to put it is select it, go to format and then code level and increase. This is how it looks. It's better. Use VIP feature to sort important mail. This is a useful feature because we are all flooded with mails and there's a good chance that some important mails may just get missed out. This is let's say for example an important sender for me. If I scroll towards the top, I see this star. Click on it once and it grays. And it moves to the VIP folder on the left. Here it is. So every time this sender sends me a mail, it comes directly to the VIP folder on the left. Now if you want to move a step forward and set up only notification for this, then go to mail from the top and then preferences. Under the general tab, new message notifications, change this to VIPs. So this will get me notifications coming from VIPs. With Apple Mail, process of putting attachments with the new composed mail is super easy. In fact, we don't really need to follow the whole process of open composed mail then put an attachment there. If I need to send this Excel to someone, I can simply drag it and drop it on the mail. It will automatically compose it and I am ready to send it. Everyone has his or own comfort level when it comes to working with icons or toolbars. You may want to customize it for mailbox. For that, go to view and then look for customize mailbox. Here it is. Now, if you need a particular icon on the top, simply drag it. For example, all headers, I can drag it and put it to the top. And if you want to remove someone, unread, I want to remove, bring it to the tray and it gets removed. This is an interesting one colors. You can put it to the toolbar and mark important mails with different colors. So I normally love using this particular tool. Apple Mail has got an option to send large attachments through mail drop. I'll show you how to do that. But before that, we need to compress the file. This is a 90 MB video. Do a right click and compress it. After the compression has happened, go to mail and then from the top preferences under the general tab, not general accounts tab. Choose the mail that you want to send large file from and check this box. Send large attachments with mail drop. Close it. Compose a new mail. Write the name of the person you wish to send the attachment to and drag that compressed file there and simply send it. Subject hate test. Send it now and this goes. It will first upload the attachment onto the mail drop and receiver will receive the link that can be easily downloaded. Rules is like giving standing instructions for incoming mails. Go to preferences from the top and you have this rules here. Last one, add a rule. With rules, you can automate those repetitive tasks. This allows you to put same type of mails under one folder. So for example, I will put the word prize money here because I get a lot of junk mail that have prize money in the subject. If is a condition whether you want to apply it only for one thing or you want to apply multiple conditions for now I'll pick up example of only one prize money subject contains if the subject contains the word prize money the action that it needs to perform is move the message to trash and OK. This is one rule that I can create. So any mail coming with the subject prize money goes to the trash. Same way you can add other rules. For example, uh, VIP mails all scroll down. And if I want to choose sender is VIP, then action it should perform is play sound. Choose the sound that you want to play and OK. So any mail coming in from VIP will have a sound also as an alert. Explore other rules if you want to add it a rule if one set you can do that as well. So rules essentially have two parts condition the top part and action the bottom part. Those were the 15 important rules that I thought that every Apple user should know on mails. Well, if you found this tutorial useful and good, do share this with your friends. If you have not subscribed to Technofair till now, please do that and thanks for your time.